Hi, this is Dr. Don. I had a question from a student about how to best put tables and charts from Excel into a Word report. The intent of learning to do that is that if you do it properly, you can link your charts and tables in Excel to your Word document so that if you, at some point in the future, change the data or change the graph in Excel, that those changes can be automatically reflected in your Word document. And this is useful for reports that you have to do periodically, say, you know, every two weeks or every quarter. You can have the standard report and have the standard charts and just put new data in. So let's see how to do it. First thing you need to do is to make sure that your Word document knows where your Excel file is. So I've got two files here, this demo one Word that's just empty right now and my instructor solutions to MA2A1, and I have them both in a folder that I've labeled chart video. So when I start interconnecting these things, the two files know where to find one another. For you, what you would do would be to have your Excel file and your Word file in a folder that you would then name properly and then the, uh, submit that in a compressed form as your assignment. So make sure that you, you put your two files in the same folder. Okay, I have a chart over here, excuse me, a, a table over here I want to put in my report. So I'm just going to select those cells, right click and click copy, and then go into my Word document, left click, and then I've got my paste options. And what I want is to link, in my case, keep source formatting. And now that I do that, that means if I change the format over here, it will be reflected here. And that's really what, where I would like to do it. So now I've got my table over there. If I go into my Excel file at some point and change that data, you'll see it is reflected automatically over here into the table that's in the Word document. Similarly, I can do that for my chart. And the best way to do that is just hover over your chart until you see the little tooltip that says chart area. Then right click, right click again sometimes to get copy, and then go into the place in your Word document you want to paste it. Again, we want to left click to get the paste options, and we want to go down there and I want to find the one that says keep source formatting and link data. So now I've got my chart in there as well. So if I make a change back in my Excel here, 5,000, it changes the chart over here, and it changes my table and my chart over here, which is really what I want. Okay, so we've got that done. You save your file, and then you close the file. And at some point, you come back and open that file. You will get this message, this document contains links. Do you want to update this? And if you are sure, you know, that you've got your two files in the same place, then you can sit yes. And so you will be back where you were almost. Note now that if I go over here and change in my Excel file, I'm going to change it to 6,000, so it'll be a little different this time. You can see that the table updates automatically. And the reason for that, that uh, message we got just refers to an Excel table in a Word document. But the chart did not update. You can see it doesn't look like over here. So what happened when you closed your Word file, the link was momentarily uh, broken. But what you need to do is just to left click your chart in Word again, go down and find Edit Data, click that, and that'll reestablish the link. And now if we change something over here in our chart, the chart is changed and the table is changed as well. So that's the basics of it. It's really pretty simple. You can actually close your Word document, make changes in your Excel file, and then when you open your Word document again, you'll have to reestablish those links, but it, it works pretty doggone well. Hope this helps. <laughs>